So today we continue our What We Believe series by talking about discipleship. I mean, discipleship is one of those words that has kind of re-emerged in, in the church vocabulary. There's a lot of emphasis put on it right now. This question of following Jesus and making other people or helping other people follow Jesus, the discipleship process. But, but what does all that really mean in the life of a Christian? Why does at its most basic form, discipleship is nothing more than realizing, as Colossians 3.3 3 says, that we died and our life is now hidden in Christ Jesus. He's our everything. And so there is this journey of, of the believer in Jesus to surrender our lives to him, to stack everything up against his word and to, and to surrender, to be willing to allow his word to narrate what our life is about, not our upbringings or our history or our childhoods or our experiences or our education or anything, but, but his word and, and what it says. So how do you do that? How do you live that life as a disciple? I want to share three tools with you. In fact, Martin Luther and other early church teachers believed that the journey of faith, the process of faith formation involved three steps. The first is oratio followed by meditatio and then tentatio. I, I know those are big Latin words and, and they're easy to get lost in, so let me unpack them a little bit for you. Oratio is the process of hearing the oration or the spoken word. So it involves things like being in church and, and listening to sermons. It involves being in study of God's word. It's that process of, of being in the word and, and hearing it spoken into our lives. That leads us to meditatio, which is the process of meditating or marinating ourselves in that word. So instead of just hearing it and then going about our day-to-day -day activities as though those two things are disconnected, we instead reflect upon the word that we've heard. We chew on it. We process. We wrestle with what it means for how we live as God's people. We're even willing to stack it up against those things like our childhoods and our upbringings and our education and our experiences. And when we do that, it, it, produces in us, it produces in us tension. That's what tentatio is all about. It's the wrestling with what does that mean. Far too often, I think, we're, we're on a quest to avoid tension. We're on a quest to avoid things that make us uncomfortable. And yet, in the, in the faith formation process, in the discipleship process, we have to be willing to realize that God's word will make us uncomfortable. Jesus says some very uncomfortable things for his church to follow. We have to hear God's word, oratio, and then wrestle and marinate with it, meditatio, and then allow that tension to drive us back into God's word so that we can then continue to grow and continue to put ourselves to death so that we can be raised with Christ Jesus. Discipleship is fundamentally about followership. It's about following Jesus, not just saying, oh, I believe, or oh, he's a cool dude, but realizing that he's the author and perfecter of our faith, and in fact, is the word that created everything. And so we surrender to him by the process of oratio, meditatio, and tentatio. Hope that helped you as you chew on what we believe about discipleship.